Welcome to the Trading Lounge and the Day Head Report and here we're looking at the uh, US 30 and uh, as you can see we're at the uh, 13,000 mark here and it is significant because um, as you can see it's had a bit of a history over here as well uh, so all of this area here is going to be a supply sort of area so this is where we can expect a bit of a mirror image over here with this and as you know we're being driven by headline news and uh, that will obviously well probably who knows will obviously uh, continue so um, yeah, the main point here is we want uh, this resistance to become support uh, and uh, within that structure here, just try and find the, we uh, do some work on the S&P 500, just bear with me a second here, I can find it. Okay, the S&P 500, much the same at the 1400 here and as you know we've been counting five waves to the upside and what we were looking for we were looking for a, a, a further pullback in here before we'd seen further upside but um, it just didn't come about and uh, it's moved to the upside so this there's probably two ways to, to, to count this to the upside here, but both ways uh, do dictate uh, higher ground to, to come. Um, we have to expect the Dow to work across the 13,000 as the S&P across the uh, 1400 here, um, and as the US dollar index um, across the 80 as well. Um, but we do expect uh, higher ground, and, and that's the same for, uh, for Europe as well. I might just bring up a daily chart for 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 Europe here. This is the um, this is the DAX here. So I haven't got this labelled, but um, this is a uh, looking at this as a corrective pattern through here, and we're looking for new highs to be made uh, through here. So there's still plenty of scope to go to the upside. So we'll be looking for uh, the seventy above seventy five hundred on the um, on on the upside there, and for the um, for the FTSE as well, if we look at the FTSE for a moment as well, you can see it's got the same sort of pattern as well. So uh, we're expecting new highs here. And as you know, there's a relationship between the FTSE and our market as well. Ours has got a different sort of pattern, but intraday they're pretty much the same. So we could take that sort of knowledge and look at our market here. So this is, this is our market here. Um, so what we really need to see here, if this is a corrective pattern as well, then we need to see a move higher. So we'd want to see support on the 44.50 here. What we're trying to see is we, we really want to see a, a, on this move to the downside here, if this is five waves to the downside here, then we need to see this move up here coming to the price territory of the wave one to the downside. So if we see this is sort of five waves through here, then we need to see this price action move up through here in, in a positive light. We need it to go through, we need the cash market, not so much the futures, um, because futures are leverage products and uh, the Elliott Wave was designed off uh, pretty much the Dow Jones and the Dow uh, transports, uh, not leverage products, which tend to have overlapping wave structures. So basically we want to see an impulse wave up here, basically taking out the, um, you know, the low of this one here. So a nice clean break there will help confirm that situation and also help confirm this is an A and a B and a C wave down through to here. So that's what we're looking at. And um, being above the 4400 here is, is, a, is a positive thing here. Um, but we do need to see it push up, uh, up through there. So that's something that we're just sort of waiting on a little bit. Uh, when we're looking at the FTSE here, for, for example, um, we've been following five waves up through here as well. And you can see that we're getting shallow retracement levels uh, within all of this. But I can still count five waves from this little one, this two, five, five waves up for three and four. And, and this just got sort of extended uh, to the upside here for five waves. So, um, look, we should see some sort of... Uh, Technically, it can pull back 61.8% of this move up through here, but you know this is a strong point here, and it could possibly come to here as well. So we should expect, while the Dow Jones is doing its thing, we should expect a some type of corrective pattern across the 5.8 before we see further upside. Um, if that's not the case and it just continues to push to the upside, then you would want day traders would look for support uh, on. 58.30 and 
to glean a small position and then look to add on to the midpoint as well. Um, if you get a small position on the on the top of group one here, subgroup one, and the price hits uh, 58.50 and fails at that point and then comes back down through here, well then you can get rid of those there and you've got a small loss there, but otherwise you build it to the uh, upside and unwind it to the downside um, but basically buying on pullbacks because we expect higher ground is, is, is what we're um, looking at we just don't know what news will come out of uh, out of the gates for um, for various things the ceasefire in Gaza is is, is a positive uh, attribute and uh, also this stuff <laughs> There's the Greece thing, and there's also the the Clift in the in the U.S. as well. So um, uh, headline driven uh, for the uh, Australian market here. The good news here is that um, we've got two nice support areas here. This consolidation through here is a good support, and you can see it coming to play over here based on the. 4400 here which is basically the cl classic trading levels pattern and um, we'd see further upside through here as well so allow the market to settle on the open there the 4330 obviously this is already priced in from the overnight markets but uh, a nice support on here will get you to the 4450 and we should see uh, you know the leaders CBA and um, BHP uh, add to their situations today we're seeing uh, the US dollar to the downside, which is um, positive for the commodity. So let's have a look at those. Okay, we'll have a look at the US dollar here, but um, more so in the in the FX section. But um, as you can see here, we're, we've really moved away from the 81 and we've really moved to the downside through here. And you can see that we're at the 80 here. I just want to have a look at um, a commodity index here and the commodity index here. Um, many people use the CRB uh, index. This is just the uh, Dow Jones uh, UBS commodity index. It's a daily chart. But what I wanted to point out through here is that um, we've got five waves to the upside through here in terms of well you can see this is the third wave in through here and this must be the ones and the twos building in here and this would be the one two three four and the fifth here because commodities tend to extend in the fifth wave well just as much as they can in the third wave as well um, stocks normally in the third wave but look what we have here is we have a five wave structure to the upside and after it's an impulse wave and after an impulse wave we get an A and a B and a C correction and that seems to be in place here this is the 150 here the medium level so it's had its arrival reaction checking in for support here and uh, now moving to the upside so what we really want to see here is we want to see a bit like the Australian market I just mentioned this move coming up through here we want to see it take out the the, the low of this wave one here uh, because um, if we were looking at this in five waves down here for instance like this so to speak then that would be like five waves there um, as it stands at the moment we've got basically an, an ABC correction down here but to make it an ABC correction we need to see a movement up here to move into the price territory of wave one here then that makes it a um, then that makes it a, makes that a corrective pattern and then that means that we should take that high out through here so that's you know that's a, a good bit of information really um, the, it comes with a catch and the catch is that um, corrective patterns can expand so we may end up getting you know some type of correction that's a little bit bigger like this here as such a larger ABC before we see a, a push to the upside so uh, get this here then then a push up so an A and a B and a C then that push up um, but we could get lucky and we could just see this um, push up from here so we just need to read the sentiment and the play and I think this may be the case because of um, looking at the DAX and um, and so forth um, we just need to get a little bit more confirmation but we'll we will play and trade uh, this way uh, here and if we're not if we haven't got it right here well then uh, well you know we we don't get as much really and that's as simple as that so um, but the the good news here is that this five wave structure here that should produce another five wave structure of of the same degree so we should see another in this five waves here we should see that over here somewhere so we should see a, a reasonable move to the upside through here even if this larger structure is an A and a B and a C here we should still see new highs come into play there we can look at the the structure uh, previous to that here and we could say to ourselves 
uh, the 61.8 retracement level is is up around the 160 back up through here. But we could certainly look to cover this gap through here. But that does give us a fair bit of time to um, to, to be on the long side of, of the market. So it's a bit messy, but you've just got... This is, this is just all the commodities. You know, it could be soft commodities and uh, everything, basically. So um, you, you just need to work out whatever percentages are such. But, um, yeah, look, um, copper. Let's go back to copper here for a moment. Now, uh, with with copper, we've got um, it, it can a couple of things here. Is that um, what happened last time with with because uh, gold and copper, are the you know they're, they're metals and and they, they they will have have a relationship there. And what we'd seen before, if you remember, we'd seen gold like push up quite high and and quickly and so forth, and we didn't see that followed by. Um, for base metals for quite some time but with gold racing off again um, uh, and base metals just starting to sort of chuff off a little bit um, we can just just be mindful that um, if if gold continues to go higher then it's likely that if 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 the metals lag they will catch up later on and um, that means that uh, you'll see BHP and so forth uh, push up as well they'll all tend to follow to the upside now that the US dollar index has turned to the downside so um, as you know coming up through here I could count this and I'll just leave it here for a while this A and this B and this C here uh, we can leave that there as a corrective rally for the time being um, but what we're seeing in here now is we're seeing this first wave up here and back for two here so we're and we're seeing this third wave up here so we should be seeing a five wave structure which will take us a bit higher which is obviously good for all the material sector uh, globe globally so um, just uh, just so be mindful that the trigger to be long is above the 350 there and and we can call that a trigger now because um because we got well it's it's basically done its correction here now hasn't it so um yeah look a positive thing there and the gold and silver is is uh, obviously moved off as well uh, as you know we've uh been working this one for a little while but you know we had um we had our five waves up through here that's all looking good for wave one and we were tracking the wave two back and you know we got it pretty close there and then we've been moving up from this point here uh, in moving up through here um, and moving through here we were looking for uh, as always support on the top of group one which is the 1730 and um, that's been the case and that's moved off and as you can see now that if you understand the wave structure a little bit, um, you can still see that there's more to go here because the third wave is always the you know the sort of the strongest part in the middle of the trend. So that means we should get another ten ten bucks out of this you know uh, out of if wave f four to five here should be the same as as wave uh, one here. But with commodities, the fifth wave can extend as well. So um, you know there could be a bonus in that as well. But look in terms of trading, the support on the uh, some type of corrective pattern across here. Um, I, I've just taken this one from this point, the one, the two, the three, the four and the five for the top of the third, then the fourth here. So it, it could get a bit, you know, sideways-ish here um, before we see a push up. And the numbers to the upside, of course, will be the subgroup two area up here and the 1772 will play a strong part in this as well so just that would be the target point there when you're trading from the midpoint to group two it's always handy to take um, money at 65 the rest of it at 72 if 72 becomes support after a wiggle or two then move back in at that point because uh, if it's going to fail that's where it's going to fail from uh, and silver's much the same as well in its structure to the upside. Uh, a series of uh, same same count as the as uh, as um, as the gold market. Um, what we just need to be looking at now is we need to count five waves from this low here, which would be the wave one here, the wave two to here, very shallow as you notice, um, and then up for one and back for two and look for the three, the four the five for the third and the fourth and the fifth and so on. Uh, so a, a positive uh, structure there. All righty, let's have a look at, uh, at Forex. Okay, the US dollar uh, index here. 
it's, it's, been, it's a bit tricky finding the uh, the top here. Um, but anyway, we eventually got there, and uh, now we can see a, a strong move to the downside. So uh, we're looking for. Uh, five waves to the downside, so we're looking for one here, back for two here, and the third wave that's coming down through here is still unfolding, so it does appear that we've got wave one, that wave one could be to here, um, or here, not that it matters too much at this stage, but um, the third of the third is, is in here, and the trend channel as well, so taking the, the top here and putting the line over through here, a nice clean break of that gives you your third wave and that's how you tell that you're getting a third wave and that's in both directions. So we'll see this work lower through here, we just know that there's going to be some consolidation at 80 here, um, a small one here, a drop down to here, then a larger consolidation to here perhaps and then down and then we've still got a fourth wave which should be back up here somewhere at that stage as well. So a fair bit of mucking around through here but is a, the reflection of that would be the same with the Dow um, above the 13,000 there, chipping away at the supply there. So, But look, that's good news. That's all sort of uh, confirmed uh, there. So we'll see the, um, the euro move higher. And just in the bigger picture here for the euro, um, what we're looking for here is, is, as you know, we're looking for the this A, little A, B, C for the B wave and the C wave in five waves through here, and then, you know, this moving up through here. So we're, we're trying to count five waves up through here. As you know, we've, we've got... We've just been working through all these little ones through here, and that's panned out quite nicely. And uh, but as you can see here, while the Dow and the other the U.S. dollar is going to be dealing with 80 and so forth, this is going to be dealing with uh, this this area up through here as well. Um, so you know, resistance uh, is is here as well. So um, you know, it's sort of what you see is not is, is not what you get in terms of. Um, of trading, so even though we've seen this strong move through here, you know it's not going to be the same up uh, up through. It, it will move up through here, but at the same time, you just need to be mindful of uh, working through through that. So we've got a series of the um, uh, yeah, we've got wave one here, wave two, then wave one again, then wave two here. So it is you know it's it's it is got power to the upside, um, and there's still more to come uh, in terms of uh, working with this area through here, if we just come in there a bit bit light on, smaller time frame here, uh, just coming from this sharp low through here, we're looking for wave one up here, wave two, we're looking for wave three to come into play here, and in, wave, in this wave three here, this is the third wave in here. <clears throat> so we've got a series of waves one here, wave two, wave one, wave two, wave one, wave two, so we've got three degrees there, so from this one here we've got one, two, three and the four is playing out so we'll have five up to here but then there'll be one two one two to play out so that means four five four five uh further up here uh to 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 get to just the top of the third yet so there's plenty of price action to be played out here the retracement should be reasonably shallow um yeah so uh yeah what can you say it's good you have to work through the the 130 so you either hold for the longer term or you trade the sub levels through there. The uh, Australian dollar as well uh, is looking chirpy, and we kind of knew that already because um, the Australian dollar is a, is a really good leader. Um, so there's a couple of ways to count all this, but uh, the main point here is that um, we're approaching. Uh, the 105, and if the 105 becomes the support, then it really flips the trade, you know, the much larger picture over into a in, into in, into a bullish pattern. But we know we have got a bullish pattern at least in the short term because we've got support on top of Group One here, the uh, the one, two, and three here. So uh, that's that's all good. So support on top of Group One. So we should see the 105 there, but we should see a, a much higher price structure through here now. So uh, just looking at the four hour chart here, just basically we've got, um, it may be a little bit optimistic me, for me to call this wave one up here just yet, but um, I certainly need to uh, to, to, to look at that uh, as such. Um, but what we do have is we do have this A, B and C here. So that means that high should be taken out through here. And if that's the case, we do have wave one here and wave two here. Here, and then this is moving up quite nicely through here so we should see further upside uh, through here and we're looking for uh, five waves moving up through there uh, and that's pretty much in line with 
with all the indices as well, really. In fact, this we like this one here to be leading it, and it, it is at that too. So looking here, it's got the same sort of pattern as the as the euro. Uh, such uh, last time we spoke, we were looking at this sort of triangle pattern coming through here, if you remember, and looking forward to um, uh, to to uh, continue to the upside, and uh, that's that's all panning out quite nicely. So. But as you can see here, we've got wave one here, wave two, then wave one, then wave two, wave one and wave two. So there's like three degrees of structure there. And then this is the third wave here. So this, these will be, if you could re reverse these in your, in your mind a little bit, these will be waves four, fours and fives, three degrees of those coming up through here. Okay, so um, once, they, once they have played out, then we'll see a correction played back into the 105 and we'll be looking for that as support there. And after we've got support on the 105, then that creates a real bullish picture. But I can see that we're getting that before that. So, um, yeah, just continue to buy pullbacks and um, do what you need to do, whatever degree of structure that you trade. Um, OK, well, that's it. Um, I just need to point out, too, that um, uh, living in the country here, we've got a um, power poles coming in t tomorrow morning, so I I'm not sure what time they're going to turn the power off. So, uh, um, yeah, so we, we may not get a report in the morning, but we'll just we'll see how we go. Um, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have the laptops uh, cranked up, but um, we'll just, anyway, just sort of put that on the table there. Um, all right, well, that's it. So good morning and uh, good luck.